Sir Francis Drake, adventurer, explorer, privateer. This is Devon's best native son, except he was barely ever here because he was too busy swashing and buckling all along the Spanish main, which is the main bit of Spain, off the coast of South America. So beloved was he by the Spanish that they called him El Drac. But they bloody loved a bit of it. Francis and the dastardly Spanish. So they went about stealing whatever was on each other's ships, which was sometimes gold stolen from people in South America and sometimes people stolen from Africa. And everyone had twiddly beards and cannons and it was so tit for tat and it was so cheeky that it was almost like a rom-com. No, except it wasn't because it, everyone was heroic and valiant and everyone thought Drake was brilliant and uh, that's why no one minds and that's why we've still got the statues. So F motherfucking Drake, the mighty thunder calfed son of Devon, made his fortune by giving huge hauls of stolen Spanish swag and slave trade money to the Virgin Queen, Elizabeth I, so called because she was the first woman worth paying any attention to in English history for hundreds of years. Sadly, no other woman contributed anything at all in this entire period. Literally not one of them contributed anything of any value and that's why no one minds that there's no statues. Now this might seem like it was ages ago, but it isn't really because it's all still here, particularly in Devon, which is more like the past than other places and has only recently got Channel 5. See, lots of rich people today still have that money and that land and you're still not allowed on it. And that's fair because your ancestors should have been better at stealing things or making people slaves or being friends with the Queen. And that's why no one minds. And that's why we still have the statues. Thanks to the efforts of great men like Drake, who were both heroic and noble, we built the British Empire, which isn't to be confused with the British Empire, um, which was this 90s sitcom about this man who was inept at running a leisure centre and um, his wife who hated him. And, and while it's undeniably a very funny pun, um, the real British Empire was, was based on, on a brutal regime based upon white people doing racially motivated violence towards millions of people of colour. It wouldn't have made a very good sitcom at all. And if you want evidence of this, you need to try and watch It Ain't Half Hot Mum. So when he finished sailing the world and winning and thrashing and stealing things and slave trading and doing massacres, Sir Francis motherfucking Drake died of dysentery in Puerto Rico, establishing another fine English tradition of getting food poisoning in hot countries. I once had my arsehole blown out by a dodgy empanada in Lanzarote. <laughs> Foreigners. All of this is ours. Stay over there, just... Stay over there on the other side of that, all of that wet bit because all of this bit is ours. <laughs>